This is a part of Menick Farm, which is several camps in one huge area. And basically very much like the very first time we visited Sri Lanka, just at the end of the war. This is the model camp, um, and they will not take us to some of the other camps, which look a lot worse off than this one. This one's been well established. It has uh, buildings that are up. It has uh, schools that are functioning. Some of the others, we just don't know, but we can see visibly that they look a lot different than this camp, which is the nicest one they have. People are telling us that they at least have the basics, though it's still extremely basic. They have food and they have water. They pump it out from a well. But um, life is hard and most of these people want to go back to their homes, but they don't know what they're going back to because they haven't seen them in months. So we're going deep into mind area, being careful not to cross over any Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay? Yeah, yeah. There are other things to watch out for as well. So this is why the government says it has not let people back into the villages um, where they belong because they say that much of the area was mined and so they have people literally coming out and checking all of these different areas square foot by square foot. There it is, there's a mine right there, just hovering on the top. We've reached the northernmost tip of Sri Lanka, the Jaffna Peninsula, which is really the cultural hub of Tamils in this country. We're here because this is where tens of thousands of war victims have recently migrated after being released from the IDP camps. They're here to try to find a better life. If we wanted to cook outside, while cooking, a shell would fall while we were eating. A shell would fall even going to the toilet was not safe. We had to live in perpetual fear that a shell would land amongst us that was out of life. They came in with rifles and told me to go with them. They selected people at random. Mothers were crying and they threatened us. 